What's going on, guys? Robert back at you with one more kicker. And, well, this is a re-unboxing video of the kicker front row. I've actually had this thing for not quite five years now. And I want to say, um, didn't get a whole lot of love. And now it may really be as kind of out of date with all the DSPs that have come onto the market. But if you're really looking, seriously, for a really good factory integration piece that has a lot of great functionality and works extremely well with some great features, this piece needs to get more love than what it does. It really, truly does. Because it's basically a base restoration device and an imaging enhancing device built into one now when I pulled everything out of the car I, when I sold off my Rocco Fives Gate Prime amplifiers to go off kicker I save all my boxes and everything for that purpose in case things need to move or get changed around and you'll see where I cut the wires off just to get it out the car anyway we're just gonna leave that alone here so now let me grab something so we can go through what all we have going on with this thing. Now, this is like the kicker amplifiers. You can actually, there are no high level speaker inputs or anything. That's called you can run direct speaker leads directly into the RCA cables and use it as a factory integration piece in that manner. And for the aftermarket use, we actually have front, rear and sub input now you do not have to use subwoofer input you can um, switch it to where the front and rear will activate the sub so of course we got high pass low pass low pass high pass and band pass crossover on the rear and then of course subwoofer output um, we have our input gain adjustments with clip indicator lights so that way you know when the input signal is clipping and then of course we got continuous variable crossover 10 to 500 Hertz 48 24 12 dB per octave times 10 multiplier switch in case you're running a three-way system and when you do that this will become 1,000 to 5,000 Hertz for your tweeters and the rear the rear output actually has like I said has the um, high pass low pass and band pass filters on it so with no times 10 multiplier. Now it also has a clip limiter um, switches on it. And what that does is anytime that the unit senses any type of clipping, it throttles down the uh, signal automatically so that way you don't blow speakers. And on the subwoofer side, of course we got our low pass 48, 24, 12 dB, clip limit limiter there as well. Built-in subsonic filter, continuously variable, 10 to 80 hertz i'm not sure why you'd want a subsonic at 80 hertz and we actually have a continuously variable phase control which is super nice to actually bring your bass to the front just a little bit the best you can low pass crossover continuously variable 40 to 160 and then we have our output level adjustments as well so like i said this piece here where it works as a two-way front and rear three-way front um, mid tweet and sub crossover it acts as an imaging enhancing device which will actually um, I'm going to show you the controller here in just a second and as a line driver so it's you got five or six items built into one nice tidy little package so y'all excuse my controller like I said I've had I've had this piece already for a while so let me get the camera to focus in on it there we go that should be good so you'll see here we got our push button here for front and rear and what that allows you to do is this dial here will actually help oh i'm out of focus again Turn it. Hang on one second here. no camera focus on the controller the camera's not wanting to focus on the controller darn it man so we're gonna have to switch to auto focus Eww. I mean, manual focus. There we go. Now, like I was saying, front and rear switch that allows you to turn this dial here. 
which will give you the, um, which will help widen and center your sound stage. And you can do that for the front and the rear. Then surround, on and off, push button here. Works really good for making the back speaker sound like a surround sound in case you're watching a movie or something on your DVD head unit. And it works extremely well. Now, if you're using it on FM radio for some reason, it sounds really kind of wonky and not all that great, and it's just too much of an effect. Now, over here, you'll see our bass knob. Now, this is a two step bass knob. We have a button over here for kick EQ, which kick EQ is centered at 45 hertz, and then we have, I believe it's labeled 0 to 11, but if I'm not mistaken, it is um, 12 dB on the bass boost and then if we actually push the button in that's the kick EQ pushing it out that's the shock the shock is a epicenter type best or bass restoration device that you know if you listen to old 80s rock or some kind of music seems to be lacking in the low bass region well you just cut your shock on and give the knob a little turn up there and you can add as much low ultra low frequency bass as you want to in there and that's going to cover it for the controller there and it just hooks up to us some with a standard telephone jack type cable and really that's that's going to about do it for the front row guys because i can't um if i went to go through every single aspect of this unit this would probably be about an hour long video and we're just not going to go there i just wanted to do a basic overview of it and to put it out there that if you're in wanting to integrate an aftermarket system into your factory system using your factory head unit and your factory um, you know if you got a tough car to integrate into this unit right here with the features and everything that it has is a very viable option even with today's dsp units um it, it works extremely well very simple to use and without a whole lot of complicated setup and you can really dial in with the with the controller you really can dial in a really nice center wide sound stage and with the bass restoration um it just packs a lot of things into one nice tidy little package so yeah that's gonna do it for the kicker stuff at the moment we got some more stuff coming your way i think um we're gonna be here soon we're gonna be going with the kicker q class l7 square subs we'll be getting a couple of the 15s in there and i've got to check my car and see if that the q class six and a half inch component sets right you're gonna fit in the door and if they do we'll be going with them so it's gonna be a whole kicker system and i'm looking forward to it guys and we'll catch y'all in the next one be sure to like like and subscribe see ya